Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In keeping with my current theme, I am going to be doing my third video for my little Halloween series. And for this video, I decided to do something different instead of making some cards. Um, I decided to do a mini waterfall folio with you guys so if you guys want to follow along and create a folio with me let me let you know what products I am going to be using so I am still using the happy Halloween by Cartabella I'm using this paper I still have quite a bit from that collection I will be using some regular um, black cardstock and this is the 65 pound weight cardstock I ran out of my 110 which is what I would have preferred to do this but I think this will work just fine and then I will be using two pieces of um, eight and a half by 11 inch chipboard and I get my chipboard off of Amazon and it's by graphics so I'm going to be needing two pieces of these, some black cardstock, and then uh, my designer paper that I'm going to be using. Also, um, double-sided tape or some liquid adhesive or both. Um, I also like to use my guillotine paper cutter and also my scoreboard. So those are pretty much the items that you'll need to create this folio. So I'm going to do a little bit of prep work and then I'll be right back and I'll let you know the measurements. Okay, so to get started, you're going to need to cut three pieces of chipboard for your folio. You need two pieces that is eight and a half by four and a half. And you need one piece that's three quarters of an inch by eight and a half. Okay, so that is going to make your, your folio cover and spine. Now, to cover your folio, you're going to need a piece of your designer paper. And it's going to need to be 10 and a half by 12. And um, this is the side that I want to be my cover on my folio. So I'm going to turn it over. And this is the side that I won't be using. So you're going to place your 10 and a half by 12 inch piece of uh, designer paper on your scoreboard. And you're going to score it. You're going to place it on your scoreboard at the 12. Uh, on the 12 inch side and you're going to start by scoring one inch on three sides so on this side you're going to score one inch okay you're going to turn it and you're going to score one inch on the top okay you're going to turn it again and you're going to score one inch on the other side okay so this this just helps to uh, line up your paper a little bit better. I just brought the camera in a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better. So for this tutorial, I am going to be using my art glitter glue, which is a liquid glue, to glue down my chipboard. I'm going to line my chipboard up at those corners where the scoring made I'm gonna line both of the bigger pieces up first one on this side and one on this side and then we'll glue the spine piece in the middle leaving about an eighth of an inch gap between the three pieces so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back okay so I use my art glitter glue to glue down my chipboard I'm just gonna use my brayer and I'm just going to roll over the chipboard and I'm going to turn my piece over and just make sure you know like the front and back or if your paper has a scene or a certain orientation that I know this has to be the top 
of my book and then this the bottom because I wanted this little city scene I really wish I would have got the bat in there but I didn't and that'll be a part that'll fold over that's fine though so I'm just doing this just to make sure that all it's all adhered down really good so this is what what we have and this is a really thick cardstock so I might have some cracking um, a little bit thinner card cardstock will probably be better but this one is super thick so the score lines just helps you be able to mold over the paper and get it ready to adhere to the book so just you know slowly just kind of try to get your paper molded so it's easy when you add your adhesive to fold over and wrap you see I have cracking there already and it's because this is a super thick cardstock so I really would not recommend this but I'm gonna go ahead with this tutorial um, just to show you and by the way this tutorial did come um, from a video that I saw by my sister's scrapper only I'm gonna do mine a little bit different um, in the end I want I will have a, a waterfall on both sides um, she had a waterfall and a pocket but just so that I can have more space for plenty of pictures I decided to do uh, two waterfalls so that's what I'm gonna do for this video so now that we have our paper all molded and ready and I'll think of something to come up with to cover up my cracking but like I said that usually happens if you have a really heavyweight cardstock it will crack be very gentle so I'm just gonna miter the corners I'm not going all the way up against the chipboard because I don't want that part to peek through uh, um, my binding so just leaving about an eighth about an eighth of an inch right there so cut your corners and this will help your folio appear neater and it will take off some of the bulk so now if you're using double sided adhesive which I think I'm going to use a little bit just to go on just down the middle part of my chipboard I'm just gonna use a little bit and hopefully that'll keep my album from having like a little puckle sometimes if you don't have it adhered down well it'll puckle up when you get ready to close it so I'm just going to apply a little bit right there I am going to use my pick here and I'm going to peel that up and I'm going to go with my long side first and I'm just going to add my glue all along this flap here. And you'll be able to tell if you went too close to the corner because you'll see the corner sticking out. So hopefully I didn't do that. <laughs> okay, so you'll just gently bend that over. And press. Okay, and turn it over on this side and do the same thing. I didn't think about it when I decided to use this paper but I know I wanted to do a Halloween theme for this video but I didn't think about how heavy weight this this particular cardstock is but it's super heavy so I'm gonna fold that one over as well and give it a good press and I think I was a little bit more rough so when it comes to this side right here this is where you want to just take your bone folder and just push your those corners in 
just push those corners in you see I just tore mine don't do don't do that <laughs> don't be so rough I'm just being so rough it's okay um, I'll probably put um, a metal corner on there <laughs> okay so same thing I'm so rough sometimes I forget I'm just dealing with paper okay so now that your corners are pu pushed in go ahead and fold over okay and as you can see this is my area that cracked on me I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue there and I am just going to fold that over and press it and fold it over and press it okay so fold it over and then press it so it'll bind that part that broke to the book so you can see a little bit of the white edge but it's not broken all the way through because you glued it down also here I'm just gonna add just a little just a little glue and I'll probably definitely have more cracking because gosh this is a really heavy cardstock so okay I'm gonna keep moving and I'm gonna go ahead and push this corner in and I'm gonna push this corner in as well okay that also keeps your corner from being like super from being like super pointed okay so if it's if it's easier for you to use your double-sided adhesive go ahead and do that okay this works fine for me okay I just want to take your bone folder and just give it a really good press all the way around okay now okay so next you just want to gently go over where your crease is in the middle with your bone folder and this will help your book bend a little bit better so you just gently bend that up and this side too so this is what we have so far that's our little book cover so the next thing you'll want to do is choose a piece of designer paper to mat the inside of your book and for this one I probably should have went with this side let's see okay for this one I chose the polka dots so I'm just gonna add glue all the way around and then adhere it down but before I do that I thought that I would want to have a closure since I am doing a waterfall on both sides so I'm gonna see if I can find some orange ribbon I'm gonna pause the video for just a second and I'll be right back okay so I found some orange ribbon and this one is by American Crafts it's one of from the, a pack that I got a long time ago from Tuesday morning has a uh, all color ribbons in that pack so I cut two strips like this and I am going to use my ruler to just kind of wing it I want both of my pieces of ribbon to be in the same spot so I'm just gonna stick my T ruler down over that and I'm gonna use some double-sided tape I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it right here, right there. I'm just going to take a piece of double sided adhesive and I am going to tack that ribbon down. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for the other piece of ribbon. And this is just so that I could kind of have it lined up. 
kind of have my ribbon lined up kind of in the same vicinity on each on each side so and tack that piece down right there now I can pull up my ruler okay I'm gonna put one more piece of double-sided tape on the other side of my ribbon okay and get that down really good and then I'll pull this I'll pull this tape off I'll pull the release paper off. Hopefully my head isn't in the way. Okay, so now I'm going to take that large piece of cardstock that I cut to mat on the inside and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and I'm just going to be super generous and I'm just going to put that all all over that paper okay so you'll want to line this up to try to make it as even as you can and then just tack it down came down a little bit too much on this side but that's fine and then I'll take my brayer and just run it over that a few times get that glue work down really good and get those corners down okay so next now I am going to slightly bend and find my score line and gently bend my paper up or my book up, my book cover. So I'm gonna bend it up gently. This is the really thick cardstock, so I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. I've already done a good good job at so you want to find both sides kind of gently go over your score lines and gently you want to fold your book up so 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 this is what you will have. This is your book. My book is very busy on the inside, but that's okay because my um, my um, waterfall is going to cover that. So we'll go over the waterfall, the pieces that you'll need to create both your waterfalls, and we'll go over tacking those down and I'll end the video there and then all that will be left is to decorate um, your folio with your the rest of your designer papers and decorate your cover so I'm gonna put this to the side and then I'm gonna take out my pre-cut pieces now I pre-cut 
um, these are four by four and a half just four by four and a half and you'll need nine for each side of your folio so you're going to place them on your scoreboard let me bring this in a little bit so you'll place it on the scoreboard on the four and a half inch side and then you are going to score each one of them at four then you're going to fold burnish and if you want to add a decorative corner or rounder corners you can do so so I'm going to use the 1 4th inch rounder on my crocodile corner chomper and so I'm going to round each one of mine like that so where's my book so this is going to be we'll just start our waterfall at the top of the book and we're going to adhere them the each one down by the flap so I'm going to go ahead and finish scoring and um and folding and clipping my corners and I'll be right back so you might want to take this time to go ahead and cut your papers and do the same thing and I'll be right back okay so now that I have gotten all my flaps cut I am going to use my liquid glue again and I'm just gonna add glue on that flap just like that so this is your flap, your flap folds down, you're going to add glue to the back of it. And I'm going to start my waterfall right at the top of my book and I'm just going to try and line it up the best that I can push it down and go ahead and burnish it down so I'm going to take the next one I'm going to add glue the same way and I'm going to add this down as well but I'm going to line it up right along where this one ends and I'm going to try to line it up so that it's straight so when you flip this down they should be one should fall directly over the other so I'm going to continue to do that we'll do one more on camera then I'll take a pause I'll get them all adhered and then I'll come back on. So again, and if you don't want to start at the very top of your folio, if you wanted to start maybe half an inch down, then just cut eight flaps and then you should be able to fit about eight on there but I like mine to start from the top okay I want as many photos as I can and if you can see I got this one a little longer yeah but once you add all your photos you won't even be able to tell it's barely visible so you just have to be careful and try to line those up as best as you can. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish adding all of my photo flaps for this waterfall. And I am going to be right back. Okay, so after you add all of your flaps and make your waterfalls, this is what you should have. 
two sides, um, nine flaps. That'll give you nine, 18, 36 photos, um, just miniature photos that you can fit in this. Kind of like a little, just an album just for Halloween. Maybe you can put 2019 on the spine or somewhere when you decorate your cover. So to match your decorative paper on here, I will be matting mine at three and uh, three and three fourths by three and three fourths. And then I'm gonna also punch my, uh, round my ends, mat them all. And let's see which paper I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use paper from the collection. So, let's see. I'm going to mix it up since these are double-sided. I am going to add this one with the little trick-or-treaters. I will add the bats in the stripes. Um, let's see. And then I'll add these. Mm, let's see. Maybe I'll add the little pumpkin with the little kitty cat. And I'll, I'll go with this one as well. So I'm going to cut this paper down to squares that are three and three fourths by three and three fourths. I'm going to round the corners and that'll be pretty much it. And then we'll... I'll decorate my cover off camera because just because my book has the cracking from the paper being so heavyweight, I think I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge and just kind of go around my edges so that this won't continue to tear or fray and that'll solve that problem right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my paper. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to go ahead and cut my paper. Let's see. You have to make sure you know which way you want. So I'm going to cut that strip off that says uh, Halloween right there. I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so I guess it really doesn't matter since they're three and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm just going to start. And I just messed up. I just cut that at three and a half. Okay. So, let me see. Yeah, I messed that one up. Okay, so three and three quarters by three and three quarters. It's going to give us the perfect square to mat on our little pages. And you should be able to get nine squares off of one 12 by 12 paper. Um, but I just messed up that one. So I'll get six squares out of this sheet. Alright y'all. So I'm going to continue to cut my squares to mat and I'll be right back.
Okay guys, so once you finish matting all of your designer paper on your flaps inside of the books, then you should go ahead and just decorate your cover. And for mine, I made a cute little window with the cut apart that came in the paper collection. Just tried to make a little scene since I had the city in the back. In the background so I made the window I just put the word boo the little sparkly word boo I added a little uh, spider embellishment some cheesecloth and then let me show you okay so I just got a regular piece of cheesecloth cut a little piece and glued it down the frame that I use on the front was one of these Tim Holtz uh, baseboard frames and then I got some stickers and uh, some Halloween craft items from Dollar Tree and this uh, is where I got the word boo from and then for that spider embellishment I got these little rings from Dollar Tree and I just cut off the ring part and just made an embellishment with that I added a piece of acetate under there to make it appear like a window um, of course my orange ribbon and then on the back I added a piece of the uh, one of the paper strips from the paper collection that says happy Halloween so that's what's on the back this came out so cute so when you open it up it opens up like that and all your little designer mats are in there and you can add designer paper to the area in between the mats if you like. I'm going to leave mine black. I like the way it looks like that. Um, but yeah, um, such a cute little project. Um, just put some really small photos, maybe some 3x3 three three photos on, on your mats. And you're good to go. And you'll have, what, 36 pictures in, in here. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you guys were able to uh, work along with me and make you a mini waterfall folio like this. It's super cute and these are just really fun to make. Um, so this one is mine. And like I said, uh, for the areas around my book where the paper kind of split a little bit, kind of cracked right here I am just going to go around my book with my matte decoupage and uh, go ahead and decoupage around here let it dry and I should be good to go but just a really cute cute uh, gift idea um, yeah so cute um, so like I said I got this tutorial um, from my sister's scrapper I changed it up a little bit I actually um, did not do the pocket like I said I just did double waterfalls and I added um, more than just seven I believe in her tutorial she had seven um, areas to mat on here so would have been 14 photos in a pocket so here I got the two waterfalls and we got 18 photos on each side um, but yeah that is where the tutorial originally came from and I just thought it was super fast a really easy tutorial to follow um, so yeah I hope you guys liked it um, just wanted to show you one that I did um, with uh, some Christmas paper that I had I had some leftover Christmas paper and I made this one I put a wider ribbon on this one and same thing just to leave for more space for photos I like to have the waterfall on both sides I think I'm actually going to revamp this and make it larger to fit um, four by six photos so I'll make the book a little bigger to fit four by six uh, photos so I'll come back and show you guys that and then I also made another one of these folios um, Christmas theme um, I was pretty busy this weekend so I put Velcro, Velcro 
closure on there and this one is exactly like the ones I've been showing you I just really love this it's a pretty basic kind of layout not too much going on but I just really I just really like this one so I um, embellished the front of this one kind of the same with one of those Tim Holtz uh, frames I used some of my dies and some some um, chipboard and just really pretty and so this will look cute um, in one of those little uh, easels um, displayed in your house so yeah guys um, if you want to check out my Etsy shop some of the item items that I create will be in my Etsy shop and I'll leave the link to that in the description box below but um, that will be all for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.